Okay, so you've planned your stuff and you've got your design briefs ready. Now it's time for the best bit, choosing your equipment. So let's have a look at what we've got. Okay, it's quite likely that you're going to need a tripod if you're doing any filming. So for brief two, we're doing filming and it's going to be really important that we can set it up in order to make it not shaky and in order to keep it still. So we've got a range of different tripods here that we can choose and uh, we need to go and choose our cameras. These tripods fit any of the cameras, it's the bases that are actually interchangeable. And you can pick up some cheap tripods for your phone as well. So I'll just pop up a link um, there. Okay, so you can get some cheap tripods and they're about eight pounds for your phone. So that it's not a bad investment on eBay. Okay, let's have a look. So don't underestimate the lighting. Most of you, you'll be able to borrow these from school if you need. Um, but if you can't, then, you know, a desk lamp or a night light by the side of your bed can all provide additional lighting and can just help make your shot just look that bit much, uh, that bit more professional. Okay, so they could just make your shots look a lot more professional. Okay, so um, I'm definitely going to need green screen. I've selected two for this, so two lots of green screen is going to be a great shout because it means that I can create that background look and I can superimpose the images that I want. Now it's time to select the cameras. So let's have a look at what we've got here. I might need the microphone. Um, the microphone I use is this one and it produces a pretty good sound quality and you can connect that up to cameras to give you a better sound quality if you want. Um, I'm also going to use this microphone as a prop. Okay. So these ones are your standard DSLR and you can actually, if you have a look using this, you can actually create a video and it does have sound on it as well if you need the sound. So these are really good um, for that. I've got a handheld camera here, really easy to use. Good thing that I like about this one is that when you open it, you can actually um, turn it around so you can see how it looks and how the screen's going to look whilst you're doing it. So there's me filming on my phone at the moment. Okay. We've got a view camera which is just good for getting um, interesting kind of shots. It's not the highest quality, but it can get some quite interesting shots. And then we've got these, really like these. These are cheap little lenses, and you can add these to your phone, and they just take a simple phone into a really high quality camera shot. So it's really simple. You just clip that on the top over your camera, and you'll see what it does now. Creates a macro there, so I can get right in close and look at the quality of that. So that's just one lens that you can use and that gives you a really good idea of um, close-ups and things. And these packs tend to come with a whole range of different sort of lenses. So you can have wide angle, and you can have a um, fish as well. So this one here, I'll just try and um, put it on. Bear with. This is the fish lens, and this is going to create a sort of a fish eye thing. So that's like a fish eye lens there. Okay, so you can see there some really, really good uh, different things. Now, also, you've got your phones. You could just use a phone, 
Um, I'm using the Pixel and I'm, as you can see it's a pretty good quality camera just as it is, so that's the Google Pixel. Um, and I'm going to shoot most of my music video using that.